negotiation is defined as a dialogue between two or more people or parties intended to reach a beneficial outcome over one or more issues where a conflict exists with respect to at least one of these issues. As people have different communication styles, they bring different negotiation styles and strategies to the bargaining table based on their different personalities, experiences, and beliefs about negotiating. Negotiators have a tendency to negotiate from one of five styles, competing, accommodating, avoiding, compromising, or collaborative. All styles have their own advantages and disadvantages, as sometimes one style may be more useful in certain situations than in others. Good negotiations contribute significantly to business success, as they help to build better relationships by delivering lasting, quality solutions, rather than poor short-term solutions that do not satisfy the needs of either party, as well as help to avoid future problems and conflicts. Every individual brings their own sets of experiences, skills, and tools that affect the way they interact with others in their personal and professional lives. When people with different negotiation styles meet, the results can be unpredictable, as such by understanding your own negotiation style as well as your counterparts, you will be better prepared to negotiate and work together constructively. Negotiators that exhibit competitive style are assertive, self-confident, and focused on the deal and results. These individuals tend to pursue their own concerns, sometimes at their counterparts' expense, and in the extreme, can become aggressive and domineering. A competitive negotiation style is beneficial when you need to reach a short-term agreement quickly. If the terms of an agreement are critical and must be complied with, a competitive negotiator will be your secret weapon. If the second negotiator is also competitive, having another competitive negotiator on your team will be able to counterbalance their aggression. If you are a competitive negotiator, make sure to blend your style with a bit of accommodation or collaboration. Invite a partner to balance out your natural competitive streak. Business is as much about building strong relationships as it is about closing deals. Negotiators that exhibit avoidance style are generally less assertive and apprehensive. They prefer to avoid stepping into or creating tension. They stay neutral, objective or removed from the situation or leave responsibility to their counterpart. The individual does not immediately pursue their own interests or those of the other person, and there is an element of self-sacrifice in this mode. Since avoiders dislike conflict and struggle with direct communication, they come off as passive-aggressive. This can cause rifts in interpersonal business relationships. Avoidance is a typical reaction when a negotiator is pitted against someone who is highly competitive. Avoiding negotiation styles work best in situations where the negotiation concerns a matter that is trivial to both parties. In conflict resolution, avoiding negotiators work best in situations where the investment of time to resolve the issue outweighs the outcome of the discussion. Negotiators that exhibit accommodating style focus on maintaining relationships with the other party. They tend to smooth over tensions, minimize differences, and are most concerned with maintaining a good rapport and satisfying the needs of the other party. Accommodators tend to try to win people over by giving in to their requests. They tend to share more information than they should. They are often well-liked by their colleagues because of their kindness, but kindness doesn't work in every negotiation situation. Accommodating negotiation styles work best in situations where your company has caused harm to another and needs to repair a significant relationship. These negotiators are skilled at peacemaking between different groups. However, don't send a pure accommodator alone to a negotiation with a competitive negotiator. They can easily be taken advantage of. An accommodating style can easily turn into a collaborative style with proper training and teamwork. Negotiators that exhibit compromising style often split the difference, exchange concessions, and seek a quick middle ground solution, which tends to end in moderate satisfaction of both parties' needs. For example, if two governments are trying to reach a trade agreement, a compromiser might give the other government greater access to their country's dairy market to gain protections for digital media trade. Simply put, a compromising negotiation style is a form of bargaining. Compromisers split the agreement's value between the two parties versus finding a solution so that everyone benefits from an agreement's full value, a competitive negotiator can easily take advantage of a compromising negotiator. 
A compromising negotiation style is most useful in situations where the opposite party is trustworthy and the agreement is under a tight deadline. However, compromising will cause your company to lose out on collaborative partnerships and innovative solutions. Negotiators that exhibit collaborative style are often honest and communicative. They focus on finding novel and creative solutions that fully satisfy the concerns of all parties and suggest many ideas for consideration before deciding. Individuals with a collaborative negotiation style are willing to invest time in finding innovative solutions and building business partnerships with other organizations. Other negotiation styles are often too impatient to invest this time, but collaborative negotiators are confident that they will benefit in the end. A collaborative negotiation style is effective in most business negotiations. Collaborating with competitive negotiators is something to be wary of, however, since this negotiation style focuses on winning the most for their company, they might not be interested in developing a collaborative relationship. As a result, the more collaborative company can lose out, so be careful and always keep track of the agreement's value. Rather than trying to give your negotiation behavior a complete makeover, work on strengthening your natural talents and practicing the best elements of other styles. To improve your negotiation styles, try practicing at home by working on adding to your natural abilities and trying out appropriate strategies from other styles in a low-key setting. For example, advocating for yourself, for example, being assertive with friends and family members will boost your confidence in high-pressure negotiations. You can also try to build trust with small wins by allowing your counterpart to achieve a small win early in your talks, promotes trust and cooperation, for example you might tell your counterpart that they are free to set the meeting time, location, or the order of your agenda. Such minor concessions may bring out the best negotiation style in both of you. Lastly enhance your reputation, as our negotiating styles often precede us. Do what you can to enhance your reputation as a cooperative and fair negotiator, for example during discussions, label your concessions clearly, and when the negotiation ends, thank the other side for their cooperation and express your desire to work together again. Gratitude helps to form attitude and these steps may motivate your counterpart to speak well of you, enabling smoother negotiations. Negotiators with a primarily cooperative style, such as collaborative or compromising style, are more successful than hard bargainers, such as competitive at reaching solutions that improve everyone's outcomes. Negotiators who lean toward cooperation also tend to be more satisfied with the process and their results, however, don't blindly apply one negotiation style to your negotiation. Consider working through your list of goals and understanding what you're willing to or not willing to give up for your gains. Then decide which issues are best to collaborate, compete, compromise, avoid, and accommodate on. It's also helpful to establish a negotiating team to help understand the situation as well as opposition's perspective and bring about multiple options when dealing with negotiations.